Welcome to Living Life. How confident are you in God? And how confident are you in God that He will answer your petition before Him? And are you sure that uh, God will, God's hearing you right now? And are you uh, sure that He will answer somehow? He will respond to your prayers? And if that's the case, then uh, your uh, prayer and your petition before God can be more uh, stronger and can be uh, just uh, going to a lot more to the extreme. What I mean that I think we can see from today's passage that the psalmist is actually filled with this confidence that God has answered his prayer. And we see him uh, being just uh, joyful and rejoicing and worshiping God, praising him for his faithfulness and his love and his uh, uh, just goodness. Uh, that's what we see. And I'm sure that's coming from uh, his uh, firm belief on God's faithfulness and uh, God's response uh, to uh, the prayer or the song that he just sang to God and the prayer that he just get, have, has given to God. As we're looking at today's passage, I'm sh I want all of you to be filled with that conviction today that for all the prayers that you're giving to God, all the petition that you're lifting up to God will be heard by God, that will be listened and will be c fulfilled. Uh, by God's faithfulness and His grace in your life. Let's look at the passage together. Psalms chapter 69 verses 29 through 36. I am in pain and distress. May your salvation, O God, protect me. I will praise God's name in song and glorify Him with thanksgiving. This will please the Lord more than an ox, more than a bull with its horns and hooves. The poor will see and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts live. The Lord hears the needy and does not despise his captive people. Let heaven and earth praise him, the seas and all that move in them. For God will save Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah. Then people will settle there and possess it. The children of his servants will inherit it, and those who love his name will dwell there. Uh, we've been seeing in uh, Psalm uh, chapter 69. Psalm 69 has been telling us uh, this uh, story with the desperateness for help, and he moved on to uh, uh, his anger toward his enemies. And uh, the psalmist is actually uh, requesting God to punish his enemies. And uh, after pouring out everything, uh, all the emotions and all the shame and all the uh, just feelings that he had before God, the psalmist is actually praising and worshiping God. That's how uh, the psalm is wrapping itself uh, up at the end. Uh, so we're looking at the last part of the psalm, and it's actually kind of just filled with the praise and worship to God. And it's like it's the shift is so sudden. Actually, it feels like it's the two complete two different songs. But uh, uh, it may be written at it up later, but uh, we know for sure this is, uh, uh, this is what we do in our lives. Uh, a lot of times we feel stressed and we feel pain and we feel like uh, it's not fair for all the suffering that we go through. And if we, after we poured out everything before God, if we, after we confessed those stress to God, and that's what happens to us. We feel the true freedom. And we feel uh, that uh, just when we know that God, he, God is hearing us, we feel the relief before God. And we can enjoy the peace that God is bringing us. And that's when the true worship is coming out. That's when the true thanksgiving is coming out from our mouth and from our lives. And that's what we've seen today. Uh, so how the psalmist is wrapping up his psalmist, he's saying, I'll praise God. Uh, I'll praise God's name in song and glorify Him. With thanksgiving. Of course, the situation didn't change. The situation is there. But uh, this kind of this uh, phrase of thanksgiving is coming out from his conviction, his confidence before the Lord that God is listening to his prayer. God has uh, listened to everything he said. And now he can come with this uh, confidence before God uh, with that, uh, the peace that God has poured out in his heart. And now he's uh, freely expressing his joy, and he's freely expressing uh, the faithfulness of God, that Lord is faithful, and the Lord 
is hearing his prayer. And the Lord will respond uh, to the prayers that he just had lifted up to God. And I, as I was reading this and uh, reading, the, reading through the transition of this psalm, it just reminded me of uh, the general kind of like pastoral counseling. And when I started uh, doing ministry, I was really uh, surprised to, with those people who are coming uh, to my office and sharing their lives and just pouring out their uh, just lives and uh, all this unfairness that they are expressing and uh, the problem that they face and the suffering they have to go through. And it's really interesting. They come for like 30 minutes. Some people like come for an hour. And some people like will just uh, cry and like uh, pour out their uh, just emotions for an hour or two. But every time what I experienced was after pouring out their emotions, uh, they just left with uh, just being so happy. Uh, and like uh, there's nothing special. I didn't do anything. Actually, the only thing I did was just listening to their problems, listening to their emotional hurts and the pains that they have when they share it. And the only thing I did was literally just listening to them. And after they just poured out, they, after they share everything with me, and they feel so happy and they feel so thankful to me for listening to their problems. I didn't really do anything to solve their problem. Their problems still stay the same. But uh, their response is very simple. They were just uh, happy because somebody heard them. And they were happy because uh, there's somebody who was symp sympathizing with them, uh, with their problems, and with the pain that they're going through. And same thing with us. When we pray to God, God listens to us. And God is uh, just paying attention to us. And when we really believe that He's doing that, when we really believe from our heart that He is listening to us, when we really believe that He is paying attention to us, then uh, we should have the same freedom and the relief that's coming from deep down uh, in our hearts, that we may feel the peace and we may feel the gratitude before God, that God has heard us. It doesn't matter uh, what He will do. He doesn't have to do uh, just uh, the same things that we requested to Him. He doesn't, have to, he doesn't have to just stand up and start punishing the enemies. That's not the solution of the problem, but the ultimate solution that He brings to us is that He's listening. And He knows our feelings. He knows our pain. And He knows the situation that we're facing. And when we feel that He is hearing us, that uh, this, the true joy can come into our hearts, and then we can just freely uh, praise God, and we can freely give thanks to God. Like in Psalm 105, it says, For the Lord is good, and His love endureth forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. When we see this big picture of God, right, how God is good and how God is faithful and how God is loving, and then uh, we know that this suffering that we go through in our lives is just a small part of that picture, the big picture that God has for us. And then we can be thankful. We can praise God and worship God for helping us and letting us go through those small part of the big picture that He has for us. I just want to remind you that God is good and His faithfulness uh, endures forever. He never uh, forsakes His people and He will be always uh, with us. And despite the circumstances, uh, despite the environment or even the people around you, our God is still worthy of our praise and He's still worthy of our worship. Uh, he's the only one uh, actually is, uh, who deserves our worship and our responsibility before Him uh, despite the circumstances, uh, we are to worship Him. We're called and we're made to worship God and to praise Him and to worship Him and to give all the glory to Him and uh, just lift up His name and let His name uh, to be known to the end of the earth. And that's our call. And that's the reason why we're created. And I hope all of us, to, as we're living today, uh, I hope all of us will be able to fulfill uh, that calling God has for us, that we'll continue to worship Him, we'll continue to give Him praise, and we'll continue uh, to lift up uh, His name 
uh, and with our uh, just uh, thanksgiving to Him. Let's pray. Father, Lord, we give you all thanks. Uh, we give you uh, just a credit for all the things that's happening in our lives. And uh, we just come before you humbly right now and asking uh, for your greatness. And we want to uh, be exposed to your presence, Lord, today. And despite our circumstances, even though uh, we're still under suffering, we're still under pain, but Lord, still we want to praise you and we want to worship you for who you are and for your goodness and for your faithfulness and for your love for us. We thank you. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This program is produced by the listeners of the audience.